mountain turkey. <laughs> Water monkey here. <sighs> Going on my first turkey hunt. It's uh, five in the morning. I've been at the Hunter Check Station in Ridge, Long Island, New York, and since about 4:15, I'm the 12th car here. Uh, the Superstorm Sandy, Hurricane Sandy. I think we—it's considered a superstorm by me. I kind of screwed everything up for a while. The station was down. Normally, uh, on the weekends in November, you can reserve a spot and then show up, uh, and then go on out and go to your spot and then pull your turkey or whatever game you're looking for. But because the station was down, this weekend is a first come first serve, so <laughs> it's a little bit nightmarish. So I got here at like 4:15 ish, and. I was the 12th car here. So some people have been here since like 3.30, 3 o'clock, I don't know. It's pretty crazy. But I think I'm gonna get the spot that I want, or one of the spots that I wanted. There's a cemetery near the spot that I want that uh, my fiance's father is buried. And every time we go visit the cemetery, chances are we, we see a turkey, so. The hunting grounds is probably a mile away from the cemetery, so hopefully there's a good turkey population. In Long Island, near the East End, there there is actually a larger population of turkey, uh, and they've been making a steady, steady uh, population increase. So hopefully one year, they'll actually have a spring turkey hunt on the island, because right now it's just limited to fall. But I'm going to sit here and wait. And uh, as soon as I finally get to my spot in about an hour and 45 minutes, <laughs> uh, maybe we can uh, see if we can call in a turkey and uh, have a fresh turkey for Thanksgiving dinner. Well, it's day two. I've been uh, calling on my box call for about an hour and a half. Uh, nothing, uh, no clucks, nothing back. I, I tried a different spot. Uh, yesterday I went to Otis Pike, uh, and there was a lot of hunters over there. And uh, I called for like four hours, I didn't get any clucks. So, I figured I'm going to try something uh, different. And there's a Rocky Point um, area to hunt. And not many people have been picking that. So I figured, hey, less hunters, maybe better chance of me actually calling in a turkey. So far, it's not so good. It's my box call. The... The fall season for turkey, it's tough to give them a gobble or even a call back. It's not mating season. But I'm giving it the best shot I got. I haven't heard anybody actually catching a turkey yet. So, uh, there might be still hope. There's, there's a lot of turkey, I mean, I don't understand. Maybe I'm in the wrong spots. I've been asking around. 
And uh, no, I got one more day left. But uh, so far, I'm pretty much just sitting in the woods, hitting the turkey box coal, using the the uh, mouth coal every once in a while. I'm better with the box. Still got to practice more with the mouth coal. And uh, you know when the when I'm calling, I'm usually wearing this, this little head mask to conceal me. That's pretty much it. It's nice being in the woods, but I'm in the woods with a purpose, and the purpose is to call in and knock out a turkey. I've got my 930 SPX with the 24 inch barrel, ported. I got a modified choke with uh, the Hornady number five three inch magnum, and they recommend a modified choke versus uh, a turkey choke because their flight control wand is supposed to be pretty good. I've patterned it after 30 yards. It's pretty decent with the modified choke, so I'm going that route. If I ever get a turkey to come around, <laughs> see if I can get them. That's basically where I stand. Heating up some hot cocoa. It's kind of nippy. It was about. It was about 28 degrees when I came out here. It's probably warmed up to a solid 40. That's how it's going. I've got one more day left because tomorrow I've got to put the bumble on the bus. So getting out here at the buck crack of dawn, it's not going to work out. So Tuesday and then Wednesday I put him back on the bus again. And Tuesday he goes over his dad's. So I'll have to put him on the bus. Let's see how it goes. So I'm going to. Wait for this, sorry, let's check on the water. Wait for this thing to boil. Make me some hot cocoa. Throw a few more clucks. Maybe a purr. <laughs> Nothing, man. <laughs> of course, yesterday when I was walking out of the woods, I, uh, so a whole bunch of deer and like a four point buck. That's nice. Over in uh, Otis, Otis Pike Preserve. I'm in the Rocky Point Preserve. So it's something to think about come deer season in January. Um, I'm wearing the Columbia Omni Heat. That's all right. When you're walking through the woods, you are nice and toasty when you stop. I have uh, one of my hiking uh, hiking uh, down jackets underneath this, the uh, Montbell EX Ultralight down jacket, and that's uh, that's making up for the lack of heat this, this stuff creates. It actually creates a bunch of condensation because it's like uses that reflective material. So I don't know, not super impressed. I know I'm gonna have to wear some thicker layers come January with this stuff. But this is. Uh, this is it. Now, aside from not catching a turkey, I'm having a really good time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'll uh, I'll keep you updated if we do catch a turkey or anything else. <laughs> Peace. That's my decoy. That is the only turkey that I've been seeing for two days. <laughs> well. I've been out here for officially six hours, and I think I'm not getting a gobble or a yelp or a cluck from any other thing besides my box call. So I think I'm going to pack it up and go home.
<clears throat> well, I've been out here for about uh, three hours. <laughs> Got a better location uh, from the previous two days. This is day three, and uh, no luck with any turkey. I thought I heard a couple of uh, clucks and uh, maybe some yelps, but logic is telling me that's probably some other turkey hunters way out in the distance in uh, other areas. <clears throat> so uh, I don't want to say <laughs> it's not going to happen, but logic is leading me to it's probably not going to happen as far as getting a turkey this fall. So, yeah, you know, what are you going to do? I'm going to probably stay here for probably another hour and uh, see where it gets me. If it doesn't get me anywhere, well, it doesn't get me anywhere. Somebody said uh, if you went out every time and you uh, got what you were looking for, then it wouldn't be hunting, it'd be killing. I could see that. Oh, I'm not bagging one either. <laughs> A little wild turkey for a Thanksgiving dinner. But, let's see if I can get something. Don't look so good. Yeah, I'm calling the game over. <laughs> uh, I officially had no luck. My first turkey hunt. But, it happens. Can't get discouraged. A day in the woods is better than a day at work. I had a good time. It was nice just to sit out, relax. Try to call in a turkey. Um, <laughs> I had some interesting... Uh, experiences sitting around being cold getting lost in the woods a couple times because <laughs> uh, you don't I'm, it's basically bushwhacking this is uh, which is something I don't normally do and uh, you basically you get a parking spot for the woods and you go out and you just find a spot with, that's within your designated area and you have at it and then leaving you kind of get a little disoriented if you don't blaze your way in and blaze your way out. So the first day, um, I used my compass. That was pretty easy. Second day, um, I used my compass, but there was also some intersecting uh, trails that uh, I wasn't using. But I thought I was on. A, I thought I crossed a trail that that I crossed over going in, but it wasn't. It was a different trail. And I took a wrong turn, and let's just say I was walking around in circles in the woods for about an hour until I figured my way out. <laughs> and so today, I decided to pick up some tape. Let's see. This is pink tape, and I blazed my way in. So getting out of here will probably be just as easy. Assuming I knew where I walked. <laughs> I'll get out. It's not a big area. <laughs> <laughs>